Let's discuss something really, really fast. I've typed this so many times my fingers are swollen from repeating myself. Um, this is a commercial mix. It's stagnant, it's wet, it's decayed. The roots aren't, the roots are falling apart in it. It came out from underneath an, a crocodile fern that I've had for years and years, I don't know. But no, no airflow, none at all. And the sphagnum moss is decayed. It was actually staining my fingers when I unpotted it. It was like tea water running out from it. This is what we're making. I mean, look at the difference. Just black mud that no air is going to go in. And a textured mix. It's like 511, but I've added a little bit more compost material to it. So it's got a lot of organics. As it dries, it breathes. I think of it as lungs inhaling and exhaling. If that cycle's not going, your plant's going to get the equivocal of human COPD and the roots will never fare well. Um, some texture, some airflow. That's, I mean, it's just essential. As far as a pot, this is a commercial pot. Look at all those holes. That's a commercial grower's pot. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Um, this one has smaller, but it has more. You want some extra holes in the pots. You want your pots to drain well. You want the soil to dry well. You need to dry between watering. And if it's just sitting there stagnant and wet and muddy like this, I guarantee the plant the tree won't do what tree even more so than plant. A tree requires more airflow than a plant does. So using a potting medium that's barely sufficient for a plant, it's just slow death for a tree. Miracle Grow used to be a different product. This, it hasn't been in probably 15 years. Very, very little bark. Bark costs money. So they're making it as affordably as possible with peat. And peat is just not a good potting medium. I have uh, I have another video on sorting out the bark and how to go through it and how to mix up your own mixes. This is a larger perlite. It's a large coarse perlite. I mean... You can break it down your fingers, it breaks real easy. I probably got some lava rock in here and some bark bits, a little bit of compost. Um, just wanted to show how horrible this stuff can look in time. I mean, it really looks bad. It doesn't take a long time either. It's inside of a year and it's just mud. So don't waste your time buying potting mixes. Uh, Fafard, Farfod, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Fafard, I believe it is. Makes a good mix, but it's expensive. Commercial growers make their own mix for a reason. They buy the uh, bulk bark and bulk loads of material and toss it together with a front end loader and put it in their grow boxes. And trees you buy and plants you buy, they're shipped in a shipping mix. That's not what they're grown in. Don't believe it for a minute. I just unpackaged a tree and it was packaged with sphagnum moss and peat moss. That's not the growing mix, that's the shipping mix. It's just designed to hold moisture because they anticipate them not being watered during transit anyway wanted to discuss it a little bit more and uh, illustrate real clear I mean that's out of my own and I mean look how bad that looks that's out of my own stuff and it looks horrible and the uh, ferns are doing horrible in it as well there's a reason thanks for watching hope it's a little bit help uh, look at my other video on 511 sort the bark and order some good perlite make you some compost get a bag of compost and mix up a 511 yeah, or you can mix any variation of it. it doesn't have to be exact it's not a recipe just if you're in the ballpark if it's drying too fast add a little more compost or a little bit of peat to it to retain some moisture but these mixes are just literally pure peat i mean that's all they are thanks for watching the video and i'll talk to you all later thank you